in this one, we're going to be talking about an actual like controller with the actual endpoints and such, and how Goa gives you your values, that your input, okay. and how it gets back your uh, results. Okay. Um, so, so first off, every controller is just a struct that has yeah. a has a pointer to a Goa controller and uh, our own uh, auth security uh, okay. thing. Uh, these are uh, I forget what they're called in Go normal in Go, but they're they don't have a name. They're uh, a quiz controller is a controller and a JWT security. I, I don't remember what that's called in Go, but uh, it has access. to Oh, all they the don't have and, field names. You yeah, mean? Yeah. Oh, it's um, it's uh, it's um, it's you don't use that name very often. But no, but I totally got it. it. You create like person, and you create it's embedded structs, embedded, that's embr it. It, embedded it, yeah. structs, and they have uh. They have, uh, there's some sort of, it's like it, not inheritance. It, 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 it's basically, it, 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 you, it's, you get uh, access to all the functions without having to call the sub. The yeah, name. and it's a... Uh, um, okay, composition. Yeah, composition, but then it's it, it, uh, promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, in, in embedded type promotion, mm -hmm. inner type promotion, I think. So everything that's of the inner type that gets embedded in another type gets promoted to that uh, to the yes. holding type. Yeah. And and so. you could still daisy chain. See, it's been mm -hmm. a year, right? Yeah, yeah. You could still uh, drill down to the if embedded needed, type but... with dot notation. Yeah. So, but basically, a quiz controller has all the Goa controller yeah. functions. Cool. It's and, just embedding other and our uh, and our security functions. Yeah. Um, and so when you turn one on, or when you call the new function, it just takes in a service and our security stuff, and just says service new controller with the controller name is the controller. And then JWC security is our passed in JWT, mm -hmm. which all of that was given by the main function from uh, here's the service and here's the JWT. Okay. Uh, back over to quiz though. So so yeah, the the actual controller struct and its new function are generic. They're across all the microservices. Um, and then each controller will have one uh, fun atta function attached to it for each action. So uh, let me uh, let me pull this open over in my editor instead. So we're working with quiz design resources and quiz controller main. Oops, main. The way this is Sublime yeah. or Adam Sublime. Sublime. The way you work with Sublime makes me like it. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we weren't here. We were in qui quiz controller. Uh, what was it? Quiz. So here we are. This is this is where we were before. Cool. So here's the struct. Here's the function. New function. So each uh, controller will have one embedded fu uh, one function attached to it for each action. Mm -hmm. So here's the create action. So here's a create function. Okay. And then delete at function has a delete. There's a delete action. Okay. And so go down. There's there's one and, for each. And all we do is write the Goa code, and this gets generated over on no, the right. No, this this oh. is our code. Oh, we had to write this too. Yeah. So each one ha takes in a context, which is this is a generated con. This okay. context is generated. Okay. Um, so what this is is a pointer to app. Yeah. This is the uh, action name. So yeah. create. Uh, this is the resource name. Okay. Quiz. And the, and then context. Okay. Uh, so action name, resource name, uh, context. Okay. Um, what this is is it's a it's a standard context. Okay. And it has a it has the request, mm -hmm. and it has the response writer, and it has a field for each and every uh, param and payload. Oh, nice! Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's it's everything. It's a totally short parameter holding everything. <laughs> yes. So so now you got context. Your context your context includes all this normal context stuff and yeah. the request yeah. and how you talk back and yeah. all your ramp input. That's an interesting thing because context, you know, when you read about context mm -hmm. with Go, yeah. context they have these rules about what it is what and is not supposed mm -hmm. to be stored in context. So context is supposed to be request specific right. va values, right. which right. that's right. what this is. Cool. So I can actually go to this and I can say ctx dot request and there's the HTTP request. Yeah. Or I can ask for response writer. Yeah. There's the HTTP response writer. Yeah. So if I need to do a standard HTTP stuff, yeah, I can do so. 
most of the time you don't need the code request or response writer directly. Right. But right. if you're like making like a WebSocket uh, uh -huh. app or something, you yeah. got access to them if you need them. Cool. Um, so he here's the one place I use the request directly is get user, uh, ID. get user ID. Get user ID is one of the functions that auth JWT security gives you, okay. provides. It takes in the request and it returns the, uh, the ID of the currently logged in user mm -hmm. or zero if they're not logged in. Mm -hmm. So simple function used in most microservices. So if you need to know who's logged in, uh, if you've got JWT security embedded in your controller, you can just use the controller uh, controller dot get user ID and pass in your the request. Yeah. Um, from from there, uh, if you got anything else, like for example, create here has a payload of quiz create. So quiz design uh, type quiz. So quiz create is a type. It has title and course ID. So I can so CTX payload course ID. Or I, so CTX is the context. Payload is app quiz mm -hmm. create, which is this string here. And then uh, and then from there I've got cor course ID and title, course ID and title. I'm feeling like that's pretty profound, but my brain's not totally tracking it because I'm a little bit wiped out. That's pretty awesome, right? So so yeah, since it's already the correct type. Yeah yeah. I, I've got course ID. It's yeah, already in sixty four yeah. already. I didn't yeah. have to. I didn't have to pull. I didn't have to JSON unmarshal yeah. it from the body. I didn't yeah. have to or anything. It's it's just there. Holy cow, that's totally cool, and very lean. Yeah. No so, unmarshaling or anything. Yeah. It's, it's all done for you. It's in all the done background. for you in the background, and in fact, Goa support Goa supports both JSON and XML at the same time. If you pass in JSON, it'll yeah. it'll it'll parse it. If you pass yeah. in XML, it'll figure it out and parse it. Wow! So the same endpoint, we don't care. It's JSON or XML. Yeah, we just say course ID. And it's already in Go, Go. It's already been put into a struct and ready to use. Yeah. Cool. So so from there, so yeah, it's, it's payload course ID. Um, if you take uh, say our get function has a parameter instead That's of a payload. Nice. Uh, it takes a lot to get there, but once you're there, that's really lean and clean mm -hmm, and nice. Mm -hmm. Like that it makes is. your code a lot less, you know, like just silly redundant chunks of exactly. taking it out of JSON. Exactly. You 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 define your you you, do, you make your design and then win for and win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if it's a parameter instead of a, so payload is ctx payload. If it's a parameter, then it's just the uh, name. So like okay. you're in get. They've got a qu parameter okay. quiz ID, so it's just CTX quiz ID. Parameter URL, mm -hmm. right? Parameters URL, payloads body. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. If it's a parameter, just CTX uh, parameter name. If it's payload, it's CTX dot payload dot whatever. Awesome. Um, uh, if it, if it's not required, it'll be a pointer. Yeah. And so, and if the user hadn't passed it in, it'll be nil. Yeah. If they did pass something in, it'll be not nil. Okay. Um, and then responses are this context, besides having all those features in, yeah, also has a couple custom methods in it. Yeah. One for every response. So, um, for example, create here has three possible responses. Okay. It's got create it. It has one that returns HP created, HP yeah. forbidden, HP yeah. for internal server error. Yeah. So over here in context, you got. Inter CTX dot internal server error. Yeah. CTX dot forbidden. Yeah. CTX dot created. Yeah. Those methods are already. They're they're, they're on built the, for you. They're built for you, and okay. they just take in a value of the yeah. proper type. Yeah. So it, so uh, error media for forbidden internal server error. So I say go a uh, error internal. That's pretty pretty amazing. Or uh, forbidden is the one that they don't auto that Go doesn't have one built yeah. in for you. So I'm using error not allowed from over here. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, created is the one that takes in a uh, or that returns a uh, quiz media. Yeah. So I say so I uh, pass in the quiz media. Cool. So whatever that app that struct is, that's what I pass. That's the argument to that function. So I just return that. Awesome. So so for create quiz, I'm getting the user. I'm checking if the user, if that user's enrolled in that course with uh, this function, 
from main, which calls out to the course microservice to, to check if that, per, if that user's enrolled. So I'm getting the, the, the course ID from that payload, the body, and the user ID is who you're logged in as. Mm -hmm. um, and it returns back enrollment information and, and possibly an error if there's a network problem. Mm -hmm. So if there's a network problem, then 500 error. Mm -hmm. uh, something went wrong. Um, otherwise, um, EM is this struct here. It's got is enrolled, is tester, is editor, is administrator for that course. So if you're not nice, if you're not an editor, you're not allowed to create a quiz. So forbidden. Yeah. So with a uh, with an appropriate error message. Yeah. Um, and then from there, uh, the database is generated by uh, our database design. Oops, quiz design database. Oops, pull that over there. So uh, this is for quiz, uh, quiz. So this is quiz from quiz create. So that's okay. one of those converter functions. So convert from quiz create here. Okay. So that can convert from a quiz create to the database type. Yeah. So that takes in just the entire payload because that's what the payload was set to. So uh, quiz create payload is quiz create. So that converts it to the database type, and then database.createQuiz. So the, our database plugin here generates a create, a get, yeah. an update, and a delete function for every table. Cred. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. Automatically generates all your cred. Yep, generates your cred. That's nice. So not only does it generate the, the standard CRUD, but it also generates dot create quiz multi if you've got a slice of things to create. Yeah. So, it, so, it, so it's got just standard and every single one also has a multi variant, which takes it, which work, works on slices instead of yeah. just values. So, so, I've got, so I've got the database struct after calling this function. So I got the database struct. So I'm passing into create quiz. That'll create it. Uh, create quiz returns if 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 your ID is generated if your key yeah. field is generated, it'll return that as the first argument. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't actually care what the new ID is, but if you do care what the new ID is, there it is, um, and an error. Yeah. And so check the error. If I was if I wasn't able to create a new item in the database, that's an error. Yeah. Otherwise, um, convert back from database format to the quiz media format, which is our output format, and, uh, and, uh, and HP status code created. Cool. Um, so more things. Um, if you say get database get something, get quiz, uh, it may, the error, you can just check error not equal nil. There's also specifically a database error table name not found. Yeah. Or you got to the database just fine. There's just nothing with that ID there. Yeah. Um, so that you so you'll see this quite often, um, where you say get get pass the context, pass in the key field. Yeah. And then uh, and check if it's not found, return status HP status not found. It, otherwise, it's an internal server error. Um, the other thing you'll see a lot of is this. So this is from this is the delete function, uh, where where I needed an int sixty four, but I couldn't because Goa doesn't have int sixty four, so I said string and it must be a number. Yeah. So string convert parse int takes in a string. Yeah. And returns an int sixty four. Yeah. So I just. I love it. So parse int. Yeah, I totally know that. Yay! 10, something 64. familiar. I understand. And then I check if it wasn't able to parse it. This should never happen because the pattern, the regex pattern, should prevent it. But yeah. I don't like leaving an error unchecked anyway. Right. So, and then or if the result quiz ID is less than or equal to zero. Yeah. Because data store has issues with IDs with a key value of zero or below. Yeah. So if it's any of those, then I say uh, I return a bad request response and say quiz ID must be a positive integer. Yeah. So this is. This is that uh, that the other half of that uh, workaround for you need an int in your cool. params. Cool. Understood that. 
Um, so general rule of thumb, uh, check your parameters early. Yeah. So if, if it's a possibility that it has a bad request, do it before something that would do, that would, uh, do before your processing. Sure. Um, and then, uh, save to the database as late as possible in case there's an error in the middle. Yeah. So. so Makes sense. Yeah. Sounds like good programming logic. Yeah. Just kind of general good rule of thumb for making an endpoint, whether go or not. Yeah. Check your input as early as possible. Save stuff as late as yeah. possible. Um, I got lost quite a bit in that video. N this one is the more complicated. Like one I don't, and also I think my head is hitting, you know, mm -hmm, whatever mm -hmm. it's been at for a while. But so. what I want to do in the next video is maybe just ask a couple of questions to try to get that understanding. Okay. Um, so so yeah, all all the stuff for the imp for this controller stuff, yeah. that's all implement details. Okay. Implement so th details. there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. A lot there. of stuff there. Yeah. Compared to design is actually yeah. shorter. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so again, this comes back to just knowing. Knowing Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so the next video, I'm going to ask some questions and hopefully gain a little bit more insight myself into that entire process. I'm going to play the person who doesn't know, which is... <laughs> actually, there's no playing in that. I'm like trying to understand this. And so I just felt myself glaze over through a fair amount of that. Hopefully, uh, for those of you who are more have some more facility with this, it made sense to you. And for those of you who also had that experience of like, what just happened? <laughs> In the next video, we're, I'm going to ask some questions and see if I can't make some sense of it. But I think we're also hitting that place where you really got to know Goa. But we'll see what, uh, just general mm -hmm. understanding, I might be able to find questions in the next video. Do you have anything more you want to say in this one? Nope. I always just like check in before I hit stop. Ready? Here we go. Yep. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.